Disclaimer, the following video contains mild spoilers for the events of The Legends of Vox Machina Season 2. The second season of Critical Role's animated series, The Legend of Vox Machina, just finished airing on Amazon Prime. I would like to go over what I think are the good and the bad of the show, and just my general thoughts overall. Part 1. The Good I think that all the voice work in the show is absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, the main cast of the show does a fantastic job being all professional voice actors who have done this for upwards of two decades in some cases. But on top of that, every single person that they've brought in to either play NPCs or reprise their guest roles from the campaign also do absolutely fantastic jobs. Two performances that come to mind personally are that of Lance Reddick and Billy Boyd, playing Thordak and Gamma something or other, who both, I think, perfectly embody the characters that they are portraying. Another thing I have to praise is the animation, once again by Studio Titmouse. They do an absolutely phenomenal job here. Everything looks fluid and solid, there's no weird glitches or anything, but that is to be expected. In my opinion, what they truly excelled in were the fight scenes. Given that we're given a, generally on average one fight per episode, I think that they all looked absolutely phenomenal and honestly even a step up from last season with a lot of fluid motions and honestly following characters as they're running through the battlefield or tracking arrows as they're fired stuff like that it all looked really good and i personally think that it felt really fun to watch that one thing i do have to give it to them the cgi in this still looks really really good i know cg can sometimes look really wonky when you are inputting a cg object into a two-dimensional background however in this case i think that the cgi looked really good with the 2d it looks like it was all done well together and nothing sticks out really sorely as oh god that's not good cgi in this i do have to give props to two particular animation scenes. One is an absolutely phenomenal Scanlan performance. They really blew themselves away and did a phenomenal job with it, as well as the fight with Kevdak went absolutely insane. Everything is so fun to get see, like, just brought to life in this animation. It's so much fun to watch. It's also a lot of fun to see all the different references to the Critical Role campaigns that have kind of been strewn around here. It's really fun to be like, oh, hey, I remember that getting brought up. And examples, Tusk Glove from season one, when we see that book on the shelf. Now, I also have to give them props for being able to take Take a full campaign and being able to condense the storytelling down and being able to tell that within an animated medium. That has to take a lot of work to make the story still flow and feel correct. In this case, I think it did a really good job and I commend them 100% for being able to make it feel legitimately like the original campaign. Part 2. The Bad which isn't really bad, but things I liked a little bit less about the way that the story is being told overall. Yeah, that's what we're calling this part. For me and some of my friends, the storytelling feels like it is a little bit rushed. Some events that we were kind of hoping would have a little more hype and build up to them feel like they don't. And while I can somewhat understand that in the context of trying to be able to tell the story within a limited number of episodes, I do have to go ahead and wish that some of these moments did have a little more build up and a little more hype to, you know, make them these bigger bombastic moments that I was kind of expecting. The main one for me are just a couple of the vestige fights in this, specifically Fenthris where in the original campaign, we had multiple episodes of them in the Feywild. In this, we only have two 30-minute episodes, and the Fenthris fight didn't feel as big and bombastic a moment as it did in the original campaign, at least not to me. But the thing with that is I fully understand why. You have 12 episodes to tell the story, so I can fully understand not having the time necessarily to be able to tell the long drawn out versions of these events. In some level, I am fairly confident that the Critical Role crew would like to do. However, given what they have to work with, and how long the original material is, condensing it down into 12 episodes to be able to tell the story correctly is a feat in and of itself, and I fully respect and think they did a fantastic job with it. Part 3. Personal Thoughts I think that the show does a phenomenal job with telling the story in the amount of time that it is given. While I would like to see a little more 
lead up and some more bombastic moments. I do also think that they do a phenomenal job with being able to tell the story within these constraints. And again, it is super cool to see a lot of these moments actually acted out in animation as fun as the campaign is to watch and you know you getting to imagine this yourself seeing it is honestly a lot more fun to me especially when they picked up the animation so there's a lot more follow the thing as it flies through the air shots or follow the person as they're sliding they did a really good job with this and i honestly cannot wait to see where it goes in the future how they continue animating because if the quality of the show remains where it currently is i think this is going to be considered one of the greatest animated cartoons that we have gotten in a long time as unfortunately they seem to be trying to kill off animation as a whole right now but that's neither here nor there so we can get into that in another video for me personally overall i would say that the Legend of Vox Machina Season 2 ends up rolling a solid 18. Super fun to watch, incredibly well done, a joy to just go back and watch again, pick up on all the little easter eggs that I missed. It's just so much fun and super entertaining. And if you haven't watched Legend of Vox Machina and you have any interest in doing so, I would personally suggest doing that. It is so much fun and you will not regret sitting down to watch this show. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But with that being said, peace.